My name's Jo and I'm one of the crisis workers here at St Mary's Centre and we're currently in the what we call the initial room. Sometimes clients come into the centre not really knowing what they've been brought here for. They feel quite uncertain about what we're going to offer, they feel quite anxious, they feel quite scared, nervous, not really having a full understanding and the role of the crisis worker is to talk about what we do and really lay it out so that they can choose what they want to have done from us and we'll offer them everything and they can opt to have it all, parts of it, none of it at all and it's really important to establish within here before we go any further with the doctor that they are fully aware of what we can offer. So one of the main roles of the crisis worker is to act on behalf of the client and, and represent them and advocate for them whilst they're here so that the crisis worker talks to the police officer or the social worker to make them aware of what the client definitely wants or definitely doesn't want to have done whilst they're here. It may be that on the way here they've changed their mind and it's quite clear that they don't want to be here but they've felt obliged to go ahead with everything. And so it's really a time for them to sort of settle, really get clarity about what they want or don't want and you know we um, empower them to make their own choices. We fully inform them of what we can offer and they decide from that what they take from that. Sometimes clients choose it all, parts of it, none of it. And we, can, we reiterate as we go along um, and go into the medical room that they still are in, in control and have power to say they don't want to carry on anymore or they're still happy. We constantly confirm how they're feeling. So once the crisis worker has explained to the client everything that we can offer um, and if they're happy to continue and they feel quite comfortable with everything at that point, um, the crisis worker will have taken some contact details um, from the client and then we'll get the doctor in to do their bit. And before we do that, we explain to the client the type of question that they might ask, the, form, the length of form that they're going to go through. Um, and just to tr reassure them again that you know with another person coming in and asking further questions that again that they're still in control and at any point they can they can stop if they want to if they need a break then that's absolutely fine um, and then we get the doctor and they come in and then introduce themselves. The crisis worker does go into the examination room with the doctor um, and we follow them every step of the way whilst they're here. Obviously we've built a rapport with the client the minute they walk in and so we continue that and it's about supporting the client through the most difficult part really. Um, often the crisis worker will stand at the top of the bed talking to the client, holding their hand, reassuring them constantly and often we're the eyes for the doctor really. So if the doctor is busy doing their examination, um, perhaps the client doesn't want to say but they're feeling uncomfortable or maybe they're in pain or they're just feeling anxious and they want to stop but they don't feel that they can voice that, the crisis worker acts on their behalf and says to the doctor that for a moment we just need to stop and then we'll just reconfirm with the client if they're okay and if they want to carry on, if they don't want to carry on, we give them that opportunity all the, all the time to make their voice be heard.